excuse the mess, we have plucked up the courage to do a weekly shop. And we went to Lidl, it was about half an hour walk away, and that didn't have that much vegan stuff, so we did most of it there, and then Waitrose after, and <laughs> we're knackered now. We've got loads though. It's been a while since we've lugged that much back. What get me them chips? Oh yeah, we got chips on the way home. Because we're terrible people. Everyone knows on food shop day, you get a takeaway. <laughs> Expose the lie, Amy. It's had an ice cold tea from last night. <laughs> My hands are freezing and it's really cold. Close it, close it. It's time. I don't want to do it. It's time. What are we doing, Wes? We're gonna get some chips and we're gonna relax. We're servicing the stove, ready to be able to turn it on. It's currently October the... Something. October the 15th or something and we still haven't got the fire on. And this morning we woke up and there was frost everywhere. We could probably hold out a little bit longer, but the other thing that comes with the cold is damp. And if you remember last year, we found quite a lot of it under the bed. So we don't really want to be pushing it. I think we're doing a full service, changing the glass, changing the rope, changing the fire bricks, cleaning the flue. The only thing that we're not doing that we're kind of annoyed that we didn't think about is painting the outside. Mm. And we watched Ben and Emily paint theirs and it looked really nice. And now we kind of wish we'd bought some paint. Maybe next year. Let's go. Step one, try and find where we put the chimney sweep last year. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've seen it down there somewhere. <gasps> It's there. How's it there? Oh, well, no, I think that's the previous owner's one. Where's ours then? I don't know. The amount of spiders that are going to be on this. Oh. Nice. What are you doing? You're trying to lure a cat. I'm trying to get rid of the spiders on it. There were some, they're not survived. Been some time since this has been opened. We've just stored all of our fans and stove things in there. Step two: put a bag in. <laughs> it's not gone in the bag at all. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. Not even started yet. All right, let's go. I'm guessing I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's tradition. <laughs> Naturally, we're doing this when we're on the water side, just for that greater sense of peril. Is it a good idea? Probably not. Oh. The roof is cracked. Right. We think it's just where water's got underneath and it's just the paint that's bubbling up. Yeah, it's not a crack, but it's not ideal. Let's just go with that. That doesn't look too bad. Mm. Is it? I don't know. Where are you off to? Oh, do you know all the noises we keep hearing? We're like, oh, it's just like chestnuts falling or conkers. Yeah. It's poo. Bird poo. All right. I'm going to bash all the nests out of the tree. Teach them a lesson. That's devastating. Quick! Before it falls in water. Give me the, give me the... the grabber. Nice. That's been cleaned. Yeah. Make sure you wash your little chimney hat. Throw it into the river. <laughs> then just get your chimney sweeper and, and flick it all over the roof. <laughs> You did shut the vent inside, didn't you? Otherwise, all the dust will be coming out. I don't know. And I've just put it through here. Are we 
cleaned that before we put it away, so it's pretty good. And then I think you just put it on. That's probably in, in the best condition because it's quite rusty, but. We don't put it on too hard, or we won't be able to get it off, and we need to go under a bridge. Probably didn't help the method that I used to get it off either, which was just to whack it with a barge pole. Time for his little hat. Perfect. Oh, I missed that little chimney. Got no right amount. <laughs> This basically sums up boat life in winter. Taking the old fire bricks out. The comparison, these are the last winters, these are the new ones. <laughs> they only just made it out the back of last winter. So this is the state of our old fire bricks and they've completely crumbled and they're all stuck in there. So we've been having to hammer and chisel the old ones out. This is what it should look like when there's no fire brick wedged in there. There's actually little holes at the back as well which have just been pretty much sealed up by old crumbled fire brick. It's like a mini construction site in there. Ooh. Nice. Wait, what? That's supposed to come out? It's been basically welded into the bottom. I didn't realise quite what a state this was in last year. That's a lot easier to get it out, isn't it? That's a bit easier, isn't it? Look, we've already got coal stains on the sofa and we haven't even lit it yet. Now I guess do we just start putting the bricks in? Yeah? Yeah? Mm. Oh, Rufus is missing out on all the fun of the stove preparation. He's been very impatient. His evening walk has been delayed. <laughs> Nothing ever goes smoothly. We ordered all of our stove stuff from stovecareandrepair.com and got them delivered to Wesley's mum's. So that's where we were visiting and we don't have an address. And they've sent us two less fire bricks than we ordered. So we ordered a full set for our stove and we've got these ones and these ones but these are the back ones and we definitely haven't got them. And now we can't progress. Well we can, we can still put everything in. We can't light the fire. Yet. No we can't light the fire. And we're not, we haven't got a delivery address and we're not going back to our, we haven't got a car anymore. I don't know what to do, we're going to be really cold. <laughs> it's going to be a cold winter. We definitely haven't got them because as soon as we unpack them we put them all safely together behind the stove. And I just didn't register how many they were meant to be, I just was like, yeah, the fire bricks are in there, check. I think these might be a little bit too far gone to use as well. Thanks. So. Oh well, <laughs> onwards. I mean, at least these ones fit nicely. At least we can do the door. We've got new glass and rope for the door, so let's do that. Now to try and get the door stove off. I've chiselled around the edge to get all the glue off where the rope used to be. And there's just these nuts to hold the door on. Yeah, pretty well rusted. We've only, also only got two left. It was already like that. Might need to W4, yeah. Oh, is the glass smashed? Yep. And they're going back now. Oh, nice. <sighs> oh. You know how we said that there was only two left? Looks like we're down to one. This is going awfully. <laughs> Not even in a funny way. Oh. Well, the show must go on. Rufus is continuing to drop subtle hints that he wants to go on a WA, okay?
feel like some of you are going to shout at us for not doing this outside. Mm. But it's dark now. I've been coughing. We've got the hatch and all the doors open. We should probably have dust masks on it at the very least. Losing that nut was a devastating blow because this was the one that was on and then it was the opposite corner. This has got a bit of a thread on it so we might be able to get a replacement screw. And this isn't in the best condition. I don't really know if that's going to be secure enough. So, we've come to a little bit of a crossroads. We still need to do the fire rope, various gasket things, the glass, but we're missing a few bits. The fire bricks and some washers and nuts that are now broken. That's basically all of the dirty jobs done. So we think we're just going to park it, clean all this up because it's getting on, try and get the bits and then finish the nicer jobs at a later date, hopefully soon, because it's really cold. A suitably unsatisfying end to our attempt. Yeah, other than the fact that it's in its current state completely unusable, it does look better. <laughs> so today on lunch, we have been to the shop. We found a DIY shop. We got a cork gun and some nuts and bolts that we think are gonna fit on the door where it snapped the fire brick i emailed them and within like five minutes he replied and apologized and he sent it to the local post office first class like special delivery so it should have been here today but royal mail are on strike so i'm hoping i can pick it up tomorrow from the post office but some of this stuff you have to leave for 24 hours before you light the fire anyway so we want to get this done now because then hopefully we should be able to light the fire tomorrow evening so first we've got this seal stuff that you put underneath the glass so i think it should be pretty easy okay all done and the glass should just go on top but first we're gonna do the new fire rope which is basically like thick rope that you wedge in this gap and I think it stopped the smoke coming out. Not too much. No idea. Absolutely no idea what I'm doing. On we go. Oh, look how clean it looks. Sure. I now declare it partially done. <laughs> these are the old ones and this is where it just completely snapped off. And we've got these, but the threads have gone. We're going to try and use the fire cement. As a glue? As like a glue to glue this back on. Should still be able to get the glass in. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah. We should probably put the glass in first. Yeah, and then just hope that we never ever break it. Careful. <laughs> use the scissors. <laughs> Got a nice bit of glass here, just really new, no fingerprints on Where's it. Where's <laughs> Okay, so it's definitely this way. So if that's cemented down, you try and get it out carefully. Yeah, that'll go in easily. I don't know. You just go for it. Try it. Might explode. I don't think this is correct, Amy. Careful. Oh, it's hurting my hands. Right, that'll do now. Oh, we've just mangled it. Oh no! How'd you open them? Go, scissors, go. So I the cork guns usually have something in the handle oh, where... Squeeze that. Oh, dear. Usually have something in the handle where you can open it, but this one doesn't. We've levelled up the scissors. Oh, there we go. Yes! We're away. We're in. Okay. Alright, here we go. Are you all right? Are you confident <laughs> no, with this? Not. I've... Oh my goodness, that was so close. What are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Cease. Here we go. Does it say anything about how much you need? Oh. You're just going for it. No pressure, but this has to be perfect. Oh! How are we looking? I've lined it up on the hole as much as possible 
That is a professional job. People pay good money for that. I say this is important work. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> if you haven't guessed, we're doing this next. Are you sure you're supposed to do this? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stop it! It just needs to reseal this. And I think you basically just pipe it around, push it around, and then I'm just going to go around with this to smooth it out. It doesn't really have to be neat as long as it's like in the gap to seal it. Okay? <laughs> Careful! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Smush it in. Smush it in. How do these things work? Ah. Careful, we've got a juicy dangler. Easy does it. Look at that. I think that's alright. And then we'll, obviously we'll neaten it up with sandpaper tissue. I mean, we say we will. We never do. No, we will. No, and the last job for right now, just to bam a bit of fire rope on the little the little drawer door thing. We forgot to measure for this bit, but it just so happens we have the perfect amount <laughs> left. Tiny bit to spare. Look at that. Whew. Nice. And I've tidied up the cement a bit, so that looks all sealed. Yay! So I've just been into town. Good news. Fire Spares Online sent us two extra bricks to the post office. So we've got them all sorted. Really good customer service. They literally sent them straight away. And then I've got some black stove and grate polish. We did want the paint stuff that we saw Ben and Emily use, but this is all we could find. So I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it'll make it look a bit shinier anyway. Time to check the fire bricks. We're putting the glass in. We've got our newly cemented on nut and the one remaining screw with the thread. Is that secure? Ooh, that's... Yeah, if it can do that, it can. Was that your test? That was my test. I hated that. Oh, look! How good is that? Yay! I'm proud of us, but we can't find that ash pan. So last year was our first year using the stove, and we were really inefficient with the coal. We got through one 20 kilo bag of coal every two days, which we know is far too much. So we've figured out why a few things. The fire bricks were really old and thin, which means that it wasn't insulating it properly. The rope was also coming off. And there's this thing called a throat something. Throat plate or throat something? Throat plate. And apparently you're supposed to keep it on. <laughs> we thought it was like a, a winter lid that you take off. But apparently you're supposed to keep it on. I've just Googled what a throat plate actually does and what it's for and it says the throat plate is a is located in the upper region of the fire stove box it deflects the flame and heat generated by the fire around itself before exiting out in the flue by doing this it pushes the heat towards the front of the stove and prevents the flames and heat from going directly into the flue thus preventing excessive heat loss <laughs> So basically, <laughs> we were just heating the air above the boat all last year and getting through about 10 kilos of coal a day on that. Oh my. Well, we were so scared about lighting a fire on the boat just generally. We were but... like, the smoke's got to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah. What if a fire comes in? Yeah. You live and you learn. Silly. I hope everyone's very proud of us because we are learning. It's all ready to go now. So I think we're just going to light it tomorrow. Really excited. Thank you for watching us fail miserably to prepare our boat for winter. And thank you also to the chip givers this week 
For more boat time, follow us on our socials, and thanks to Bears Aboard for your lovely comment. See you next time!